have to ask this because of suggestion. But are you an evil spirit? I mean, it's called the hellhole for a reason. We're just here to try and find out if you're actually down here or not. We've been told that you are by many people. In fact, a lot of people are way too scared to even come here. Whoa. What was that? So, the pub was built in 1240. Uh, it's had a fair few dealings with deaths and, and what have you. Uh, the room we're in, I know this is supposed to be one of the most haunted rooms. A uh, little girl died down here. She was unfortunately trampled by horses. Um, it's been a place for highwaymen to seek refuge. We've got little holes and whatnot for people for the bar people upstairs and they just drop a pebble down and it comes out to let us know that they're people that they're police upstairs. Um, it also has some it also has history and ties to the King Charles II from a, as far as I'm aware. He used to have his uh, private meetings down here away from Twilight Eyes at the castle in his own little chamber just down around the corner. Uh, a lot of people get complaints about scratches on the back of the necks. There you go. They come down there, then a couple of, then a few minutes later, they come up. They obviously experience like really cold chills, and they have like little. It's like a baby scratched them, and it's going down the back of the necks. Um, this room is basically Rose's room. Obviously, you can see you got all the toys behind you that people leave behind. They do just to keep her playful, rather than going upstairs and ending up with scratches or any or any other things going on with the bodies. Well, one of the bar staff, he's experienced little bits and bobs. He's been down into the hell hole, as we call it, and he's had like pebbles thrown around. They have. They thought it was just like dust from around, he goes, do it again, some more pebbles flowing around. We've had some other, in, some other like minor weird stuff that goes off, like you'll get glasses that just pop, you will. I've had a little personal experience. Um, I went in to take some plates and some cutlery into the kitchen and the kitchen was closed. Uh, our, our head chef, he's very particular about how he has his knives and he has them on the hot, on the hot plate going all the way across in order. I left the room, loud bang, come back, all the knives are on the floor. Right, we just want to point out first before we do anything, you might hear some stuff. It's coming from above, it's, it's, we're in a city. Yeah. below a pub so there are going to be no odd noises probably through here that you can hear from upstairs but the further down we go you won't be able to hear anything even though we're under a main road at that point yeah. you will hear nothing of the road so we should be able to differentiate the sounds from upstairs compared to down here anyway yeah I mean you can hear the general chit chat sort of sounds it might not get picked up on these anyway yeah. but there was a like a sound or a knock sound right behind you in here where these dolls are which is wonderful If that was you, thank you so much. It's gone cold. It's gone cold. Yeah, because one of the stories of this room is you go and you stay in here for a bit and then go down right to the bottom, come back in here and it'll be freezing cold. That's happened twice to us. Since I don't know if you can see, but my the hairs on my arm and the goosebumps. Um, okay. Is Rosie here? We've heard that there's a spirit of a girl called Rosie who likes to spend time in this particular part of this cave. We're here to speak to you. Can you come and say hello to us? Or if maybe you're in a, a different part of the cave, can you come and say hello? Can you walk up to us? I'm just taking my hat off. Was that you moving? No, I promise that you. Echoed? I promise you that wasn't me, and it was right here. It was. It was to my right as well. Seriously. I heard like a. There's. That, but not, it wasn't that, it was like that. Well, yeah. 
They came from, I think it echoed, but... Can you move one of these dolls in front of me? The... The noise is so weird in here. Yeah. Like, move your feet. This isn't you. There's like crunching. I, do, I was about to say, it feels like someone's walking around us instantly. Now I have no idea if this is anything yet. Rosie, is this you? If you don't know who we are, my name's Elliot. My name's Joe. And we, we go around buildings and search for people. People that you might find difficult to talk to. But we're here to listen. We're here to check if you're okay. What I think we should do, we've got the um, wildlife camera just down here. That's going to pick up any movement because apparently the doll, I can't remember which doll exactly. One of the dolls, I think it might be that one, ends up being moved from there down to around there somewhere. Behind me. So I think we should go right down the end. Yeah because that's the quietest place. And then that camera will pick up if anything moves in here. I was gonna say, Rosie, if you are here, could you play with your toys for us? Or we can join you if you like us, but we don't know which one you want to play with. So if you move one for us, we'll come back here and we can, can, have, can play with you, play with your dolls. But we're gonna move away from here to allow you to choose your favorite doll for us. Mm. Um, and then we'll come back to you. And we have the tunnels to Nottingham Castle, which are unfortunately bricked up on both ends. Yeah. As you would expect in the modern days. Yeah. To be honest. But we are, we have been given permission to go behind this rope line and down the stairs. This is just for sort of safety mostly, but we have been given a bit of leeway tonight. You wouldn't believe, I mean, we didn't believe how big these tunnels were underneath like, one of the oldest pubs in Nottingham. Like, we thought, yeah, it would be like a, a small little cavern, but it isn't, it is it's, it's big. huge, isn't it? Whoa. What was that? That was a big bang. Who was that? We've just come down here to talk to anyone who's still down here. Can you make noises to contact us? in here. That's up there. We're 60 feet below ground at this point. Would anything really travel down that far? It's basey, base travels far, mm. but it's like that. Mm. Are you here with us? We're not afraid. 
We are here to communicate. And the best way, if you can, is make a very loud noise. Any spirits here? What's the croaking? Are you behind Joe? Knock once for yes. That's a bit of concrete. That was behind you. Dun, dun, dun. I heard that. Was it three or four? It was like, I don't know. Rosie, is that you? Is there somebody else here? Did anybody die here? Can you please make a very loud noise? <gasps> that was loud, actually. Thank you. You heard that right? Is it upstairs? I know it's ridiculous saying it's upstairs when we're 60 foot below ground, but hmm. it sounds like it's coming from through there. Yeah. But then what are people doing on the floor that loud? Because that's not, when you're in the pub, it's just people chatting and it's solid as well. The flooring upstairs is completely solid. It's the original brick stone flooring. Stone. Yeah. Like, yeah, I think, what would you, you'd have to do a lot to make a noise that loud, surely. Make it through to this part as well. Yeah, like, that's very loud, wherever that is. Do you ever hear any loud bangs down here? And would you also associate a lot of it from the upstairs? You do hear some bangs down here, but personally, I don't think you could associate with upstairs. We have a lot of loud music upstairs, and being down here, even now, there's music playing and you can't hear anything. It's nice and peaceful down there. Personally, I think if something goes bang, it's something here. We wanted to differ differentiate between what was down here and what was up there, so I guess we weren't concentrating as much because we thought, okay, it could be upstairs. But you're, and also, a lot of those big bangs were down in the grain store part, yeah. which again is lower down as well. Thank you. Is that you making those noises? Can you come towards us? Come and touch one of us or throw something.
I'm just trying to think. This is like currently we're underneath the road. Yeah. But the sound is coming from. Let's go up there then, back to where that camera is, because it's coming from up there. Yeah, you're right. But are we going to play chase with this again? Well, I don't know. But if we can go up there and happens again, at least we can get some idea of what the hell that is. Because that is really loud. And yeah, you're right. Look, this is our third time down here today as well. We haven't heard that at all. Never. We've been upstairs for hours just chatting to people. Yeah. And not once have I heard or seen anyone do anything that can make that sound. We've not been warned about it either. No. You know, no one said, oh, by the way, the so and so is going on and this could happen because. Yeah. You know. I wonder if that camera's going to pick it up as well, though. Probably. Because to me, it sounds like it's from this area yeah, echoing it down. Almost in here. Like. But look! The echo doesn't even. That. That is upstairs, surely. That's upstairs, there's got to be. Have you seen how far up upstairs it is? No, that was in fucking here. Yeah. Sound like someone walking around in high heels. I've just heard the, I just heard the door rattle. Which door? I think it's the one up there. I've just heard rattling just there. Can you make that a thumping sound again? So you can hear what is coming from upstairs because it comes from down the doorway. Yeah. You hear like just people like just talking and. Mm. There was like proper footsteps, like. Yeah. But look how far down we oh, are. No. And we did hear a lot of footsteps, so now thinking about it, shit. <laughs> if you're down here, do you think you'd be able to hear the footsteps? We could actually trial it. Yeah. If you just walked around upstairs, or what you walked around there, wherever I'll be down here and listen out for it. Yeah, yeah kind of. So we heard a lot of footsteps, like a lot of footsteps, as if someone was like in high heels. Walking around here. All you can hear is people talking. There's yeah. no footsteps upstairs. Apart from that, there's no footsteps you can hear up there. I mean, I don't know where he is right now, but like you're talking really loudly. I don't think it will be upstairs. Where he's gone all the way up here, we are roughly round about where he's standing around here. Hmm. We are, I don't think it's, up, it's from upstairs. Is that like the occasional like sound? That I just heard in then. Yeah. That was, but it's through there and a lot quieter. Yeah. What we heard was like almost a long the corridor here. Yeah, also you've got to keep in mind that this will amplify what's upstairs, but if it's coming from there, there's no chimneys or anything down that, in that area. All the chimneys are over here or down there. Yeah. That's a footstep right, from up yeah, there. And you can hear it directly through here. I heard a footstep from there and I heard a little, very small bang from over there. Yeah. That's him coming down the stairs. Yep. That's interesting. Okay. I didn't know you had like two distinct points. So, so I walked around where we were doing the meet and greet. I met, um, I went around the corridor as well, but the corridor was all stone. Um, I didn't go onto the bar because I didn't want to disturb anyone. But people are walking around there anyway right now. Yeah, so you can hear you walking, but only through that hole. The, the, whatever it is. Right. The chimney hole thingy. Yeah. You can only hear it when you're basically stood right underneath it. Doop, doop, doop. And I was stomping as well. And we, what we had heard, when just me and you were down here, was yeah. like footsteps walking across the whole thing. Yeah. 
Which you could not hear when you were doing that. Because I was stomping across the floor. I went into the room opposite us as well. I went all the way around there and I went like in the t kitchen corridor mm. as well. I feel like we've put too much down to noise upstairs compared. It was completely different. It was. Completely different sound and for a lot less amount of time. So obviously there are noises coming from the pub and we can't expect them to close the pub. It would cost a fortune to do that just so we could investigate. But it's very unlikely to hear anything from upstairs, especially when you think that when we're in the deepest part, we're actually underneath the road and not underneath the pub at all. And if you can't hear buses and lorries and cars driving past, then you definitely wouldn't hear anything from upstairs in the pub. Earlier on, when we were given the tour of the entire location, we were actually informed about a secret area that nobody had investigated, and they nicknamed it the Hell Hole. And when they uncovered this metal sheet in, we thought it would be rude of us not to ask if we could investigate it. No one goes down there. And we're the first to investigate, as far as I know? As far as I'm aware, yes, you guys are the first to investigate down there. I mean, it's called the hellhole for a reason. It's just basically, it's very dangerous down there. It's, it's, there's a lot of dangerous stuff down there. That's where we put all of our stuff that we don't use anymore. Like old benches and stuff like that. It's, they will just pile up down there. Just let us know when you come back up, that way I can put all this stuff back there. Right, back yeah, there. Okay. Uh, yeah, great, not even any ooh, this there, but very, very deep ones. No, I'm literally just oh, there. There we go, I've got a flashlight on my phone. Interesting. Joe? Yeah. Are you in? No. <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> There's, the steps go all the way up there as well, it's just someone's covered it with all the metal, which yeah. is useful, isn't it? <laughs> Um, shall I go down to the bottom before you come in? Yeah. Because there's like, someone's put a bench in the way or something. <laughs> cool. Safety third. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is a safety? <laughs> oh, poor camera. Aye. Just dragged through hell. <laughs> oh wow, okay. Hang on, let me film you. Creepy. Cool. You in? Um, in. <laughs> Seal us in. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell this is definitely unused. Like. Yeah. You can smell the difference as yeah. well. Yeah. Like the. I don't even know what it is. Musty mold smell is very Ooh. powerful down here. Okay, we've heard that there is a spirit here. We've heard that you like to throw things. Well, we're not scared of you. And we would like you to throw something. There's all this stuff around us. If you could shift it. Well, my name's Joe. My name's Elliot. We're just here to try and find out if you're actually down here or not. We've been told that you are by many people. In fact, a lot of people are way too scared to even come here. What's that? What? I didn't hear that. It's the second time I've heard it, actually. And it sounds like it's near you. First time I thought it was you, but it wasn't. We know you don't get a lot of people coming here to... to talk to you. Could you try and talk to us? Use... your voice, or just move things? There's all of these things in this room. Stuff to tap on, throw, move.
I have to ask this because of suggestion, but are you an evil spirit? Can you keep moving the things that are in this room, please? Yeah. It's over in that corner. Mm-hmm. Make some more noises if you are stood in this corner. I can't actually... You can try and get closer to that corner if you yeah. can. Why can't you get there? Uh, sort of, sort of not really. I don't know what all this stuff is. Like pottery or something. Mm. But I mean, you can see there's nothing really around there, but from a tire and... It's not something that someone stood there, were oh, Fuck me. Yeah. I don't know. If you are here... What were these tunnels used for? Can you... Oh, it's not an answer like that, is it? Are you stood in the corner of the room? I heard three things then, went tung tung. <laughs> <laughs> sounds really stupid, but it sounds like something moving carpet. Can you make a noise? Oh. 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 We need to ask them if oh. things fall from the roof regularly. And if they did, there'd be shit everywhere. No, what? Like yeah. how about nobody comes down here? Yeah, that's true. That is true. There's not rubble everywhere, is there? I mean, yeah, bits and bobs here and there, but something landed on that, didn't it? Fuck that, maybe John. I recorded this earlier. Is anything, well, something must now be there that wasn't there earlier. Has it fallen from up there? But I mean, the chances of being in that corner again. Oh, man. Christ, that made me jump. That's fucking creepy. And again. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um. You call out. I don't really know what to ask for down here. Could you? Is that rosy? Just a seller. I don't think they were trying to sell her. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Was someone maybe in prison down here? Or is it just used to hide away? This is your secret area to get away from everyone.
Can you just keep making those noises just to prove that you're actually here? Can you throw something again? I know we keep asking, but the more you can do it, the more proof we can have that you're here, because we can't see you. What? I thought I just heard, like, clothes coming down, um, sort of behind me. This is so difficult, this one. We didn't stay down in the hell hole for that long at all. I think it's interesting what we did capture down there considering how little amount of time we were down there. But it's also kind of one of those interesting things that when we investigate houses that haven't been investigated before, you seem to capture more than places say like the ancient Ram or 30s Drive where people are there every single night investigating. So there might be something there, we're not sure, but we did need to move on. Even though we had had some activity down in the hellhole, we were running out of time and wanted to get some answers to the main haunting of this magnificent place. And that was the story of Rosie. Uh, I don't know much about the little girl, but like I said, the only thing that I do, that I'm aware of, uh, is that she was unfortunately trampled by some horses and they brought her down here into the cave and she passed away. This is supposed to be one of the most, how can I put it, uh, one of the most prominent ghosts in the building, one of the most famous ghosts in the building. Um, this room is basically Rose's room. Obviously, you can see you've got all the toys behind you that people leave behind. They do just to keep her playful rather than going upstairs with any of the scratches or any, or any other things going on with the bodies. Have a bit of light, please. Thank you, Dorothy. So we're going to try again because we, ju we just can't rely on noises 100% unless it is something right in front of us. Mm. That banging makes me jump every time. So we've got a brand new Polaroid thingy, my bob. Okay, that proves it's brand new. So there's absolutely nothing we can do to manipulate this in the slightest. So, fake. Um, good, right, what's the experiment here then? We're gonna wait for the light bars. Yeah, we're gonna try and be silent. And I know this is kind of, it's kind of audio this bit, um, but I think it's also visual because light's gonna go off when there's a sound and then we're gonna try and obviously concentrate on being silent in between shouting out so that Joe will take a picture when these lights go off. I've also got a REM pod set up on the stairs in the other room. So if that goes off, there is no way that, um, I mean, we're locked in here as well. Mm. So only one key. Yeah. It's very important. Um, so yeah, so we call out, we wait for the light bars to go off. When they do, I'm gonna take a photo. Um, so if Rosie's here, is there any chance that you could make a noise for us directly in front of us? You'll see that there's lights in here now. If you make a noise over there, or move one of your toys, hopefully uh, they will go off, they will light up, and we'll know that you're here. And we'd like to take your photo, if you know what that is. We want to try and basically get a, an image of you, or a picture, a painting, a drawing, however you want to word it and there'll just be a big flash of light and then it'll be... Done. Hard to explain, isn't it? But it, It'll be done. We'd just like to see what you look like. Can you move one of your dolls or teddies? Your toys? Which one is your favourite?
I'm gonna take a photo, I think. Can you stand by your toys? That's that thumping sound. That is upstairs. Mm. Rosie, when we're silent, please can you move one of your toys or make a very loud sound in this room to set off these little lights? Something just moved. That was a hundred percent movement in that corner. Yes, it was. Did you just? Did you? Did it even move there? No. I can't really see them, but it, it might have been our bags. Are you interested in our bags? can have a look through them if you like. Ooh. Ooh. That, so that 100% is in that corner. Yeah, it was. It's not setting the lights off. But it wasn't that corner. We'll leave them there to continue to develop, but... Um, you can see that there's like these weird black spots. They're like all white spots with like black shadow around them. The Polaroids were very, very dark. Now this was a brand new set of Polaroids too. They had only been delivered the day before. They've been kept in the fridge ever since. So I can't see how there'd be anything wrong with the Polaroids and we can't keep saying that there's something wrong with the Polaroids every time we capture something on them. But you can see that these, there's these little white dots with a lot of shadow around them. I don't know, I don't even know if you could say that it's dust that's casting a shadow. I think it would, it would just be way too small to even cast a shadow, let alone see on a Polaroid. But I think where it maybe it was so dark, it's made it difficult for the Polaroids to develop. But then we always investigate in the darkness, but obviously being a cave, it was pitch black down there compared to the normal places we'd go, where at least there'd be lights from our cameras and then the moonlight and so on as well. So not 100% sure what that is at all, but it is interesting because we've never captured that before. They've showed up on every single Polaroid all three of them, just in different areas. Which is really strange, that one's got quite a few of them. Yeah. I have no idea what that's about, but these are very, very pronounced. Very, just really strong white dot, but with black all around them. First of all, we just want to thank everyone who was there at the pub that night. It was an absolutely brilliant night. Everyone was so nice. It was really interesting hearing everyone's ghost stories about that location. Things that just people in the pub, people drinking, had had in that pub while they were there. It's definitely a very, very characterful and interesting location. We did investigate upstairs, but because there was music downstairs, we couldn't really film and we can maybe show some of it to some degree, but it was, it was just way too loud. Now, 
the, the caves themselves have that sort of stereotypical feel of hauntings. It's, it's more sort of, to us, feels like the mine tunnels we've done rather than any sort of caves or man-made structures underground that we've done. Now, I think a lot of that can come from the sheer amount of history that comes from those tunnels and the caves. It really is a phenomenal place for history. Being able to sit on the same stone as King Charles II was a really amazing thing to do. Now, this, the, the sounds that you can hear from there are still confusing us because you can definitely hear footsteps. When Elliot was upstairs walking around, you can hear the footsteps coming down from the air vents, I assume they are. But we could hear much more than just that. There were bangs and very heavy footsteps that seemed to follow along the corridor that we were in or the room part that we were in, rather than just hearing it directly above me because I think I was stood below that hole when we heard the footsteps in the first place. So. I don't know if we're going to quite go down 100% that was definitely paranormal because there's still other options to investigate first. But I think considering we really weren't there for that long, I think the things that we did capture really were very interesting. I really enjoyed this investigation. It was very unique to us and it was almost quite a privilege to be allowed into these areas down below. <laughs> I can do this better, sorry. So it was actually a, an honour being able to investigate some of the parts that nobody had ever investigated before. Everybody at the pub was so down to earth, such a friendly bunch, and they were telling the stories as if it wasn't like a constant haunting. It was just things that people had witnessed and they weren't, you know, egging it on, making a big deal out of it. And I really like that because it just shows a down to earth place, a, a, a place where nothing's exaggerated. Everything is how people have witnessed it. And I think that the place has got a lot going for it. The history, um, the character, just, just everything about it is brilliant. Now, maybe we didn't actually get hold of Rosie that night. It doesn't mean that that place isn't haunted. It doesn't mean that stories are made up or anything. I think that just means it was maybe a more quiet night than usual, but I also think that we caught activity that we don't know was activity at the time. 